The legendary psychic type Pokemon Cresselia is coming back to raid battles, and this is one Pokemon you do not want to miss out on, mainly because of its significance in PvP. Now Cresselia is a pretty easy raid boss to defeat, but unfortunately you will not be able to duo this Pokemon unless you have the exact right counters and the exact right situation. But overall, this Pokemon is easy enough to trio, and that's what I'm going to be covering in today's video. So yeah, without further ado, let's roll the intro and get right into it. And how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count here with a brand new raid guide video. Today I'm going to be covering Cresselia, more specifically how you can trio this Pokemon. This is a very awesome Pokemon to collect and of course it does have a shiny form as well. So you do not want to miss out on this Pokemon. It does quite a number in the Ultra League. So if you want to succeed in PvP, then Cresselia is one Pokemon that you will definitely want to farm up. Now, Cresselia is a fairly easy raid boss. You will have plenty of different counters going up against this Pokemon, but because of its high defense and HP stats, it is going to be extremely difficult to duo. So I will be covering how you can trio this Pokemon because for the average player, it is definitely possible to trio this raid boss. Now, as I mentioned before, Cresselia is a pure psychic type Pokemon, which means all of your counters to psychic types are going to be really effective against this raid boss. This includes Pokemon like Darkrai, Chandler, Gear. Tina, Weavile, Hydreigon, and Mewtwo. All of these Pokemon are extremely powerful against Cresselia and you will definitely want a full team of them. In the most ideal scenario, you will want to have a full team of six Darkrai that are fully maxed out and have the move Snarl and Shadow Ball. This is of course Darkrai's highest DPS set and of course both of these moves are really strong against Psychic types. So Cresselia can be nuked down by a full team of Darkrai and you and your trio partner will want to have as many Darkrai as possible going up against this boss. Now, of course, let's say you do not have a full team of Darkrai. Well, there's plenty of other different options that you could bring. You could also bring Chandelers with Ghost-type moves, more specifically with Hex and Shadow Ball. Of course, Chandelure is obtainable through PvP battles, so you should have a couple of Litwicks that you could evolve into Chandelure, and you could bring those going up against Cresselia, and you should do really well. You could also bring Weaviles and also Mewtwo's with Shadow Ball. Ball, these are all Pokemon that are going to be really effective against Cresselia. Now, if you want to trio this Pokemon comfortably, I highly suggest you focus more on Darkrai and Chandelure. Both of these are very powerful glass cannons against psychic types, so Cresselia will get nuked down pretty easily. Now, when it comes to Cresselia, there are a couple of movesets that you will want to avoid. Of course, Confusion is going to be a high damage dealing fast attack move. And then, of course, when it comes to its charge moves, you will want to go up against Aurora Beam or Moon blast. Those are going to deal the least amount of damage up against your dark types, so I highly suggest you focus on these. But when it comes to its psychic type charge move, Future Sight, that's going to dish out quite a lot of damage and possibly even one-shot some of your Pokemon. So you will want to avoid that one unless you're using a full team of Mewtwo's with Shadow Ball. But even in that case, I highly suggest you focus more on going up against Moonblast. Speaking of Mewtwo, if you attended Pokemon Go Fest this year, then yes, your Shadow Mewtwo is definitely going to be a heavy hitter, but of course you will want to make sure you have Shadow Ball on that Mewtwo, which will mean you will have to use your Elite Charge TM, so depending on how many resources you will want to use for this Shadow Mewtwo, I don't necessarily know if Cresselia is definitely going to be worth it, but overall it's always going to be useful to have these Pokemon anyway, so it may be worth it after all. But again, you really won't need to use Shadow Mewtwo as long as you have a full team of Darkrai's and Chandler's. You will be okay with just those two Pokemon. Now, if you're looking for that 100% IV Cresselia, you will want to encounter one with 1633 as its CP. And if it's weather boosted by Windy Weather, you will want 2041. And of course, Cresselia does have its shiny form released into the game, so you will potentially get that Shundo, so you do want to farm up as much of these as you possibly can. Now in terms of the raid meta, Cresselia is obviously going to be a bit of a lower tier Pokemon with psychic types, but in the Ultra League, because it has really high defense stats, it's definitely going to be useful in PvP. 
And unfortunately, in raid battles, its exclusive legacy move, Grass Knot, is not going to be available. And if you are going to use Cresselia in PvP, Grass Knot is going to be in an essential move. But you will be able to get it through an Elite Charge TM. So depending on how focused you are on the Ultra League, it might be a worthy investment. And of course, like I say, with every single one of these raid guide videos, you will want to have the most ideal scenario going up against this boss. If you want to successfully trio this Pokemon, make sure you you are at least level 35 and at least have one player that is level 40 and of course all of the Pokemon that you bring you will want to make sure it is maxed out and of course weather boosts and friendship bonuses will always go a long way. Unfortunately the ideal weather boost that you will want to use going up against this boss is going to be foggy weather and of course foggy weather is a pretty rare weather boost so do not rely on the weather boosts for this Pokemon specifically but I highly suggest you utilize all of the other bonuses bonuses going up against this boss, more specifically with the friendship bonus and of course any sort of mega evolution bonus that you can muster. Of course at the time that I'm recording this video we didn't have mega Gengar yet, but if you do have mega Gengar, if you're watching this video in the future, then mega Gengar is definitely going to be useful for you and your raid mates. Now I did mention at the top of this video that Cresselia is pretty impossible to duo, but actually it is possible if you have the exact right conditions and of course if you do want to duo duo Cresselia, you will need a full team of level 40 Gengars with shadow type moves and you will need that weather boost of foggy weather. And then of course you will need your best friend bonus and more than likely you will need that mega evolution bonus as well. So I highly suggest you do not attempt duos unless you have the exact right conditions, otherwise you will potentially lose your raid pass going up against this boss. But yeah, trio is definitely possible with Cresselia, so if you follow this guide you will be able to defeat this boss with the least amount of trainers as possible. Of course recently Niantic did change up how you get premier balls in raid battles, so the more trainers you bring the better because the faster you defeat this boss, the more premier balls you will get. But in any case, yeah, that's going to be it for this raid guide video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you trioed Cresselia? I would definitely like to know. And if you ended up enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. But yeah, that's going to be it. Make sure you're having fun and being safe, and I will catch you all later.